Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to part six of the Misadventures of Kron Bon. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be going into the Nakai Ruins for the first time, the place that Teasel was abducted from. And Teasel was sure that when he went in there, that he would be able to pay back the entirety of the one million zenny debt that uh, he owes to Mr. Loth. The thing is, is that I can't actually do the entire Nakai Ruins on my first go. So, I can't get the, uh, I don't remember exactly what the jewel was called off the top of my head, but, oh, Diana's Tear. I can't exactly get Diana's Tear on my first time in there. And it also means that it doesn't matter which serve boss I take in there my first time. I wasn't really thinking about that, so I still ended up taking in the, uh, the lab geeks. Uh, because I'm not completing the mission... Uh, they don't actually get their stat boosts. Oh, well, let's get this mission meeting started. Uh, I'm still taking number one as my sniper because I don't believe I actually have another serve bot who can be a sniper right now. I have not unlocked that with the items. Again, I there's one in uh, the bank robbery mission. I missed it the first time around, but I believe I can get it the second time. I'm not sure why I missed it. I, I'm almost entirely sure that I sent all the serve bots into all of the houses my first time around. Maybe one of them was just loafing around and didn't do it. I, I don't know. But uh, if I'd gotten that, the number nine could be a sniper. Uh, I did do a little bit of attack training because with the RPG missions, they start throwing bombs at uh, the Reaver bots when they have an attack rating of three or four, but certain serve bots can't get higher than two. Some of them can't get higher than three, so you just kind of have to get them up to that point. Uh, their speed rating is, determines how fast they fire as a sniper and if they can keep up with you, essentially, when you're running around in the Gusta. So, this is the true Mega Man Legends experience. Uh, the Gustav is almost entirely just like Mega Man. Uh, running around with your buster gun, except you have your serve bots. Uh, they can hold down certain reaver bots as you're fighting them. Uh, the Gustav can have other weapons equipped, but those other weapons entirely replace your buster. So, it's not exactly like Mega Man and Mega Man Legends, but it, it's, it's so close, I mean... Again, this was the Mega Man Legends team. Uh, the Misadventures of Tron Bon was made in between Mega Man Legends 1 and 2, though it is a prequel. I believe it was like Legends 1 came out in 1999. Uh, the Misadventures of Tron Bon came out six months later, and then Mega Man Legends 2 came out six months after the Misadventures of Tron Bon. And I absolutely love all of these games. Uh, I love dealing with Teasel in all of them. He is such a great character, and it's so sad to hear about uh, why, even if there was a Mega Man Legends 3, he would not be voicing any of the characters. Uh, I don't really recommend you look up what happened to them, but I will say that they are all Canadian voice actors, essentially. Uh, for the Mega Man Legends series. As I'm running around here, you know, some of the enemies are those ones that are, they're like walking eyeballs on legs. And those ones have a lot of HP, they hurt pretty bad. Those ones are all one shot, though that might just be because I have my sniper at max attack right now. Uh, I believe this is max of three. Send them in there for some, uh, some more zenny. There was only enough for them to collect at one time. That's typically how that goes. Uh, you send in your, your six serve bots, and each one of them comes back with something, and that's usually the end of what's in there. I mean, at the beginning of the games, those ones were, those ones were tough. Uh, the only reason I was ki killing them so fast was because I was picking up uh, rocks and chucking them at them. I'm kind of thinking about doing that with this one. And... 
man, that was not even down yet. I I got blocked by that chest. I was trying to run the circle, and uh, the chest there said no. And then this one, you don't need a key to open any of the chests. You just beacon bombs and send your serve bots on them. And we got a brain cube. Uh, those do what you would probably expect them to. Uh, you give them to one of your serve bots and it just increases their uh, brains rating by one. I, I thought maybe there might have been something going on with that, that hole in the ground just because it's so different to everything else. But no, it was it was just where I grabbed the rock from. Serve bots can't do anything with it. And you know, Tron out on an actual dig instead of just trying to stop Mega Man from being on digs. It, it's kind of funny to see myself. And you know, I mean, Mega Man Legends happens after the misadventures of Tron Bon. Why doesn't she just attack Mega Man with a Gustav? I mean, she, she's got one, and she's got an attachment for it at least that lets her just, like, drive around like a tank, picking up things that I suppose weigh thousands of pounds. Uh, she's got this one, the actual Gustav, with uh, a buster gun and some weapon attachments. And you'll see later. The weapon attachments are ridiculous. Uh, they blow through things HP so fast. Her her serve bots give her some really overpowered weapons. And I don't even think I have like half of the uh, the HP upgrades yet. I've only got one of I think three armor upgrades because it, it kind of like Mega Man Legends in that regard. 25%, 50%, and then 75%. Though I don't think that she gets ones that stop her from getting knocked down, like the Omega ar versions of the armor in uh, Legends. Found us another chest and uh, got some fireworks in there. Just kind of looking around at the room. There are certain spots later where uh, stuff will be elevated above you, like on platforms, kind of like above that door. So I'm kind of like, does that happen yet? I, I don't actually remember exactly. But no, it's not not quite yet. But I, you'll know now why I do that, because I do it multiple times. I'll, I'll have one of those doors that has like a, a giant... Uh, it almost looks like a platform above it. I'm like, is there something up there? No, not yet. And this seems like kind of a kind of a weak room to put a chest in. Uh, that the door's already open again, so that's all the reaver box. I'm, I'm somewhat confused. I'm kind of like, is that is that all that's in here? Got me a brain cube for my trouble. All right then. I, I guess we just keep on going. We, we keep on trucking along. Get that Zenny to, to save Teasel. So, uh, whatever I can do with these brain cubes. And these are all the weak ones. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't put more of the strong ones in an area like this. Though I guess they don't expect you to have leveled up your serve box, uh, or maybe even have like any of the the new weapons. Because I could technically leave and go make new weapons now. Uh, just from things I have already obtained. And I do this a couple of times because there are a few spots where you will send the serve bots in and there's more than six things. It's usually just a multiple of six. You either get like six or twelve. There's almost never like nine. But occasionally something will have enough for our serve bots to go in there twice. Now, this room is absolutely terrible without upgraded weapons because they they stall for so long by going underground. And the one in that corner, that was too far away for me to fire at it. Uh, it's the one that's behind me again. It's not the one that's in front of me. I'm trying to watch that one in front of me because it's been a while since it came up. It finally does. I get like three hits on it, maybe. 
if, if I had the better weapons, uh, this would be much easier. Though I, I do believe with one of the, with the most upgraded weapon, uh, you cannot move while firing it. You can like jump move and then fire, but you can't run around while firing it. Uh, the Gustav has to completely stop to brace itself for firing the bazooka. And right there, I'm just like, I, I stood directly in it. I'm just like, I need to get as many shots off as possible. I'm just trying to take it down. Get out of the way. I want to get through the next door. The, the snake things are a real trouble early on. Ah, looks like we got uh, some quicksand in here. Some more of those really fast kills. And it looks like there's a crack in the wall over there. But I can't do anything about that yet. Uh, these things lunge at you. Uh, I don't get hit as far as I recall, so I don't see how much damage they do, but I'm pretty sure it's a decent amount if they get to you. I just, I, I don't want to deal with uh, taking massive chunks of damage from that. Oh, oh, uh, it, it's literally spawning them in front of me. I guess we found its mother or something. It is huge. It has a ton of HP. And if I don't want to take a ton of damage, I just kind of have to keep killing the ones that are walking towards me. So that extends the length of this fight like a ridiculous amount. You see, I'm killing like two or three of them and then I'm getting maybe three or four shots in. And then I gotta kill another two or three before I get another few shots in. And I can't, <laughs> I can't send the serve bots in to do anything because they just would complain about the quicksand, which is understandable. Someone tells you to go into quicksand and you just run in there and you're like, why did I do that? They just, I, I'm pretty sure they just attempt to escape if you do that. Like, they just try to run directly back towards the Gustav. Um, it's just me, like, sweeping them down, trying to get a few more hits so that I can get it to stop spawning these things. I guess this would be an okay place to farm unlimited Zenny if you really wanted to, because they all drop a little bit. It's just not a lot. <laughs> this, this would be a long farming session to uh, save Teasel with your million zenny. Though I guess technically you could beat the game by coming here and just sitting here not hitting the big one ever. And they're gonna follow me in. Oh, no, okay, they didn't get stuck behind me. I thought they got stuck behind me. I think that happens on my way out. <laughs> Another chest. We found a pipe. Huh. I, I don't remember if I've talked to the uh, the engineer who's making the bazooka yet, but he did ask me for some form of pipe to make the bazooka. Okay, no, they, they don't get stuck in that one. They get stuck, I think, in this one. Because I remember I have them, like, complaining. Or are they just falling behind? I think they might have just fallen so far behind that they're distressed. You see, they're the four of them with their uh, distressed, shaking faces. So we're actually coming up towards the end of uh, the first venture into the Nakai ruins because I can't really go much further. Uh, there's a few walls that I can break once I get uh, the bazooka attachment, which means that I'm completely skipping the... Uh, the rapid fire one. I don't think they called it a machine gun, but I, I'm completely skipping that one because I can't use that one to break open walls. Uh, I need to have explosives for that. So right up here, there's this uh, broken wall right here that I can send the serve bots into. And because they're kind of lagging behind, I'll just send them in again. 
try and get those ones to go back in and get the, the extra stuff. And then if you see to my right, uh, there's that big crack in the wall right there where I'm firing. Uh, that requires the bazooka to continue. So that is as far as I can go right now. And that means that I'm going to head back out of the Nakai Ruins. And we'll see how much zenny we made uh, in our first venture in the easiest part of the ruins. Before I have any of the attachments for weapons. And the weapon attachments do cost a pretty penny. Uh, I think the the rapid fire is like a hundred thousand, and the uh, bazooka was two or three hundred k. But you know, I I deserve to treat myself after after going through the Nakai ruins and dealing with all that crap. And if I want to make it further in, I mean, you gotta spend money to make money, right? Let's head back home, boys. Roger! So we made 166,000 zenny and 500k. Got a couple of brain cubes to level up some serve bots, as well as the fireworks and the pipe. It doesn't look like any new rooms got created. I believe I am still missing one room to move to. Uh, I may have delayed that. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check later. And I absolutely love Tron in this outfit. It is great. Talk to 31 and 32 for the weapon development. If we had some kind of tube and 300,000 zenny, I could make a bazooka. If we had a rapid fire trigger and 100,000, I could make a Gatling gun. So, give him the fireworks. These fireworks are linked together, so they'll go off sequentially. I could use, I could adapt this idea for using building a Gatling gun. All I need is enough money for development. And give 31 the pipe. This is exactly what I've been looking for! It's just the right length and width to make the bazooka I've designed. Now all I need is enough zenny to pay for development costs. And now I'm gonna go to my development. The Gatling gun. The tires don't do anything here, but oddly enough, the police lights are worth 10,000 zenny in the development of the Gatling gun. So. I'm glad I saved those rather than trying to sell them or anything. Because that means that the Gatling gun only cost me 20k. The tires still don't do anything for the Bond Bazooka, sadly. So I'm just building that one outright for 300k. That thing obliterates enemies. And I cannot wait to show it to you. Once I go back to the Kai Ruins again, probably in two or three parts, because I'm going to be going back to the RPG mission, and I'll probably do another set of puzzles before I end up going back. So I'm sticking with it. Hope you guys will stick with me, and see you guys in the next one.